What were those cues to you as far as, okay, now we're ready to do the Fontaine? He would just, he would run for a couple minutes and he just turns lovely shade of purple. Mm -hmm. And he just got out of breath so fast, but you know, he couldn't really keep up with kids on the playground. For us, it was this big debate of, do we do the Fontaine while he's healthy, while he's his heart is strong? Or do we wait until our hand is forced? And we decided that we wanted to do it when he was healthy and strong. Do you feel like that helped with the recovery? I think it did. The stronger? Yeah. Which, which one was the hardest for, for him, do you think? Um, for him, I think it was probably the last one. Really? And um, only because he was more aware of everything and, um, you know, the first two, he was just a baby. The anesthesiologist, he had the same anesthesiologist for the first and second surgery and, and everything. And, you know, he said, you know, we're going to take care of him. Mm -hmm. You know, and that was like his promise to us was that they were going to take care of him. You know, and they did.